Everyone loves a good stress ball. I mean, you probably have one at your desk right now as you're watching this video. And sharing this video with your friends and family, of course. And you're probably sitting there wondering, gee, how are all these awesome items actually made? Well, we've got the answer for you. Now, obviously, stress relievers come in a lot of really cool, unique shapes. And each one of those shapes comes from a custom mold. A football comes from this mold, a cat comes from this one, a knight in shining armor comes from this one, you get the idea. Stress balls basically begin their life inside these custom molds. So in order to begin production on a new batch of stress balls, the molds first have to be cleaned out. Well, for the most part anyway. Technicians remove any excess foam or debris left by the previous batch. They'll brush away or peel off all those little foam bits on the inside, then they spray the interior casing with a silicone lubricant creating a slippery varnish that will later allow for the finished stress balls to be removed easily. Now that they've been prepped, the casings are coated with a quick layer of paint, the same color that that particular stress ball is going to be. This coating helps to ensure that the finished stress ball will have a smooth and consistently colored surface. The newly coated molds go into a big toaster oven to get preheated, which conditions them for the next step, where they're injected with a liquid polyurethane foam. Technicians pour only a small amount of liquid foam into the molds, because it will expand and solidify within seconds after it's been poured. That's what's happening here as the molds proceed down the assembly line and back into another toaster oven. Consistent heat is important because it helps the foam to cure along the interior surface and form a smooth outer skin. Next, the molds come out of the oven, they're opened up, and the fully formed stress balls are taken out. They're looking pretty good, but they're not perfect just yet. Along the edges, you can see where the foam started to seep out as it hardened. Those edges now have to be trimmed. Easy fix. Snip snip here, snip snip there, and there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Any noticeable surface defects are mended quickly, and at this point the fully formed relievers are looking pretty seamless. But there's a few features that still need to be added. All the colorful little details need to be sprayed on. These are the details that really make the stress ball when all's said and done. Like how these solar panels would be nothing without their actual panels. These flying pigs would never achieve liftoff without their wings, and of course you'll never get a perfect spiral out of these footballs without the laces. See, it's the little things that make the big difference. Now the fun part, your custom imprint. Which I think we can all agree is what pretty much makes a stress ball yours. Then again, I guess they're not really yours until you actually receive them, which is probably why the next and last step is shipping. Each reliever gets individually packaged, and then the whole set is mailed, with love, directly to your home or business. And there you have it. Literally. I mean, stress balls may look like toys at first glance, but you gotta remember that at the end of the day, they're actually powerful marketing tools. So it's good to know that they're treated that way every step of the way through production. You wanna learn more about some really cool production techniques? Check out these videos right over here. More importantly, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest marketing trends. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time.